Hello, this is Shiv Shankar Dyal from LibreProgramming.org and in this part we will learn about uh, two-dimensional arrays and memory layout of uh, arrays. So as in our last part I have shown you how to use a constant integer to declare an array. So we declare an array of 2x2 two two. and then using two nested for loops we scan the values of uh, all those four elements and then we print it. Now how memory looks like? Suppose we have an array of eight elements, an integer array, and say a0 is at address zero, then a1 will be at four, that is if int is of four bytes, a2 will be at eight, and a7 will be at address 28. This is guaranteed. But suppose if we have a two-dimensional array, int a32, with three rows and two columns if we think in terms of matrix and then a00 will be at address 0, 01 will be address 4 and a02 will be address 8 at address 8. Now in this case the rows are being considered first and then columns. So first all the columns of rows first row and then the columns of second row and so on. This is how it is laid out in memory. Let's uh, compile this program and run this. This is a very sweet and uh, okay, I have already compiled so let us run this. Okay so for the first row 1th row and 1th column so 1 2 3 4 so it printed 0, 0 is 1, 0, 1 is 2 and then and 3 and 4. So the key point you should remember is this memory diagram which I have drawn here. This is the key point of this lesson and I hope you will not forget this. This is a very simple stuff and we can use it to represent matrices and we can do advanced matrix operations like matrix addition, deletion and then multiplication, sorry, matrix addition, subtraction, multiplication, transpose, inverse. We can compute FFT, DCT, discrete cosine transform, discrete sine transform. So two dimensional arrays are used at many places, though at those places we won't have, uh, in case if we have bigger matrices, we won't have this on stack because this A is on stack, rather we will do a malloc and we'll put the entire matrix on heap which has huge amount of area. Uh, and as last part, never overrun the boundaries of your array, otherwise you will be in trouble. That's it for this video and uh, it was supposed to be a short video. I just had to show you how to iterate on multi-dimensional uh, matrices, suppose you have three dimensions that is three indices, then you will have to use three for loops and so on. The key point here is again the memory layout. Thanks for watching the video. Enjoy. Happy programming.